we have to talk about the Disney panel. Um, Disney is going to be having some interesting stuff, which, um, first of all, I want to talk about Tron Ares. Tron Ares is going to be a, a sequel to uh, Tron and Tron Legacy, which Tron Legacy was one of the, was the first movie that I saw that really solidified me wanting to get into engineering, and I love Tron Legacy so, so much, and especially that's what got me into Daft Punk fully, and speaking about Daft Punk, which it really is kind of sadly um, surprising, um, but also not surprising at the same time that Disney did not decide to go and have Daft Punk to return and even come together to score Tron Ares. But instead, we're going to be getting uh, Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross of Nine Inch Nails to be doing the score. Now, at first, I remember seeing these news and I felt like this is we're getting cheated out of. But when they said Nine Inch Nails, I thought, oh, it's a, it's a heavy metal band is whatever, because I never really listened to Nine Inch Nails. But then... I didn't know that they did the music for for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, Mutant Mayhem, which I know I still got to react to the movie and I got to react to the series. I know, but I've had some stuff come up, so um, it's going to take me some time, but I'm getting there. But I'm excited because uh, now that I knew that it was them, I thought, you know what? Maybe this could work. I think that maybe they have this idea where it's going to work. And I, I trust that Disney is going to do an interesting plot in which um, with this. Wait a minute. I just for forgot. I am so sorry. I know that we're in the Disney part of it, but I forgot we're getting Toy Story 5. <laughs> I am so sorry because they kind of have similar plots. What I mean by that is that Tron Ares is basically where a program from the game comes into the real world and has to fight AI and they have to deal with a battle with AI which is incredibly insane and then we have um, Toy Story 5 which comes out in 2026 where they describe that it's a movie where it's toys versus electronics and I you know what I originally wanted for Toy Story 5 to be where Andy finds his toys and goes on this trip to go and find the rest of them to give to his future children um, or children if he's already has children and if he's already married with kids uh, and I, I would have wanted for it to be that way but you know what I'm actually okay with the plot of the toys having to be having this little um, conflict when it comes to them versus electronics and I think that that's a great plot in my opinion because as, as of right now there's a lot of kids that they're not really wanting to play with toys. They're really just wanting to play with their iPads or their phones. And it's kind of a sad decline after all these years, but I mean, what else can we really do about it? Well, I know what we can do about it. Stop giving your kids the iPads and the and the phones and making them to be like their babysitters. I mean, come on, this is the reason why I don't like Coco Melon. And this is kind of one of the reasons why I didn't like Bluey to begin with. But again, again, I never watched Bluey, so I'm giving it a chance, like I said. But Coco Melon, please don't let me, don't, don't, I don't even want that near me. It's already bad enough that I see it all the time. Um, but I just really don't want to deal with Coco Melon. Um, or any of those other YouTube channels that are for preschoolers, like parents just put it on for their kids to be their babysitters, which is, it's totally crazy, but... I mean, you know, parents are going to do whatever they want to do, sadly, these days. But I'm not going to let my kids look at a screen for that long and, you know, let that be the babysitter. But that's just me personally. But anyways, to go right back into the Disney panel, we also got some other different things, too. We also have, um, we also got the first title for the new Freaky Friday sequel starring Jamie Lee Curtis and Lindsay Lohan, which I have not seen Freaky Friday at all. It wasn't a movie I was ever interested in, but maybe I might check it out just for the channel and, and probably just check it out because I haven't seen it at all. Uh, but, you know, I might. Another thing that we did get was we got a tease for the live action Lilo and Stitch live action remake, which is pretty insane that we actually got a teaser for um, the live action, um, um, almost a little murmur, but uh, Lilo and Stitch. I couldn't believe it. Um, but I'm going to check out this little teaser for Lilo and Stitch, which is supposed to come out 
summer of 2025 and it's actually going to be in the theaters and not a um and and not a disney plus release which is very surprising so i'm excited so after this ad's done i'm gonna check it out uh i will i am going to check out the little clip for it i'm not gonna play this whole entire thing because it also has a little bit of other stuff that i don't want to get copyrighted for but um let's go ahead and check out this teaser for it in three two one huh? Huh? he looks incredible <laughs> it's the same voice actor too i love it he looks so great in live action. I'm sorry, but he looks so great in live action. I'm gonna play it again so I can hear everything. <laughs> you know what? This is gonna be the next. This is gonna be Disney's Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm calling it now. This is going to be Disney's Sonic the Hedgehog. They got his design right. Just look at him. Get a clear look at him. Um, wow. He looks like what I thought he was going to look like. He looks incredible. Stitch looks great. I'm, I'm impressed by how great he looks. Uh, now I want to know how Jumba and, and Pleakley are going to look like in live action. If they're going to stick with the alien form or I don't know what they're going to do. But I'm excited for the new Lilo and Stitch to come out. I'm more excited now. This is going to be very, very exciting. And speaking about live action, we also got our first trailer for Snow White, surprisingly. This one, I know there's a lot of controversy around. But I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna to definitely check this out, see how this goes. And um, we're going to check out the trailer, the teaser trailer for Snow White, which I'm interested with. And this first frame alone already makes me happy about how they're approaching the cabin. It already feels like a fantasy movie right off the bat. But we're going to definitely see how Rachel Zelger does as Snow White and how Gal Gadot plays the evil queen. Cannot wait for this movie to come out. I'm a little nervous about it, but I'm excited to see where we're going to go with it. Maybe it might not be as bad as expected, which it does come out March 21st of 2025. And um, I'm excited. I'm excited. All right, let's do this in three, two, one. Oh, is that a little bit of whistle while you work? Oh, the dwarves! So, whistle while you work. Interesting. The wishing well. The castle. Oh! Oh, she looks good! Who's the fairest one of all? She looks good! Oh, that's cool! Oh! Oh! Oh, no! You know what? Okay. You know what? I'm going to get to a few things. This, this shot alone makes me convinced I am going to have to get past that the dwarves are CGI. I'm going to have to get past it. This looks a little weird. You know, it kind of weirdly feels like a Robert Zemeckis movie where <laughs> it's half 
live action and half animation. But it's like that uh, animation style that was used in the Polar Express and A Christmas Carol. <laughs> I'm sorry, but <laughs> this is going to take some time for me to get used to. Rachel Zelger actually doesn't look that bad as Snow White. But the star of this movie is going to be Gal Gadot as the evil queen. She's pulling off that American accent and she looks stunning as the evil queen. She looks incredible. Like, this is going to be awesome. Even the magic mirror. Like, look at this. This feels like a true adaptation of the animated movie. It gets me excited. And we get a little bit of a look at her as the old hag. This is this is very, very good. You know what? And this shot alone, uh, the, the shot where she's in the forest and she's she's getting tormented by the the uh, the trees because she's lost in the woods and she's scared. I, you know what? I love the imagery that the nightmarish imagery. They're going for this because that's exactly how it was in the animated movie. And this shot of when she thinks the a uh, 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 a monster that it gets turned into a deer like this. Disney, are you teasing us for Bambi's live action movie? Because if you are, that is the cutest deer I have ever seen in my life. That is adorable. Give us that live action movie of Bambi now. If that's how Bambi is going to look like, this is cute. This is absolutely cute. I'm going to watch this trailer again to really, really, like, take it all in. I mean, this is this teaser was only a minute and 17 seconds. I got to watch this again. <clears throat> Even the stairway, like, the, the, the architecture, everything looks so close. Some whistle while you work. Magic mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest one of all? This looks good. You know what? This is it. This is the good. This is going to be good. I'm sorry, but this is going to be a good movie for those who are saying that this movie's gonna be terrible? That's a bad ratio right there. I have the uh, that add-on where you could see the uh, dislikes. That's a very bad ratio. You know what? Forget it, you guys. This is gonna be good. I love it i'm loving it i don't care i love it i'm already seeing how the comments are but you know what this is gonna be this this is gonna be good i'm gonna like it i'm gonna like it i am going to like it i don't care what you guys have to say if you guys want to bash it all you want i'm gonna love it i'm gonna love it the last movie that got a trailer for the night was Mufasa the Lion King, which is a live action sequel, prequel, and I'm guessing a sequel and a prequel. Okay. Anyways, so John Favreau did not return to direct this movie. It's going to be directed by uh, Barry Jenkins, which he did. Um, what was it? What was that movie called? Moonlight. 
I think that's what it's called. Um, I know that this is going to be a very interesting movie as we're going to be getting cast of the first uh, live action Lion King movie come back. We're also going to be getting other actors to be coming into this movie as well um, to be playing older characters, as I said before. And um, sorry, I was trying to start the trailer, but this is going to be interesting that right here... Um, it says here, it's uh, exploring the unlikely rise of the beloved king of the Pride Lands. Mufasa the Lion King enlists Rafiki to relay the legend of Mufasa to young Lion Cub Kiara, daughter of Simba and Nala, with Timon and Pumbaa leading their signature stick. Uh, told in flashbacks, the story introduces Mufasa as an orphan cub lost and alone until he meets a sympathetic lion named Taka, the heir to a royal bloodline. The chance meeting sets in motion an expansive journey of an extraordinary group of misfits Searching for their destiny, their bonds will be tested as they work together to evade a threatening and deadly foe. So, again, the cast, we got Aaron Pierre as Mufasa, Calvin Harrison Jr. as Taka, who would later, um, which I'm feeling was going to be Scar later on, uh, Tiffany Buna Sarabi, uh, Kagiso Ladiga as Young Rafiki, Preston Nyman as Zazu. So, uh, I'm surprised that John Oliver didn't come back. Um, Mads Mikkelsen as Kuros. Um, a formidable line with big plans for his pride. Thandui Newton as Taka's mother, Eshi. Uh, Lenny James as Taka's father, Obasa, Obasi. Anika Noni Rose. <laughs> Tiana herself as Mufasa's mother, Afi. And Keith David as Mufasa's father, Masego. Which, <laughs> Keith David and Anika Noni Rose. So you got, you got, that's a weird blend too. Because you got Dr. Facilier <laughs> and Tiana. As a married couple, man, it was crazy. That's crazy. Then we got John Connie as Rafiki, Seth Rogen as Pumba, Billy Eicher, Eichner as Timon, Donald Glover as Simba, uh, Blue, Ca or Blue Ivy Carter as Kiara, and of course Beyonce as Nala, which I'm excited for this. Uh, this is going to be an awesome, awesome movie, which is going to be great. With this all-star roster of talent bringing a new favorite, fan favorite characters to life, it also celebrates the award-winning songwriter lin-manuel miranda writing the songs uh film songs produced by uh mark mancina and lin-manuel miranda but with additional music and performances from lebo m so uh miranda said that elton john tim rice hans zimmer lebo m mark mancina beyonce labyrinth uh isla salaman uh Salman Zadeh, Bo Black, Ford Riley, and the incredible music team on the Lion Guard are so many musical tr contributors over the years. Um, the Lion King has an incredible musical legacy with music from some of the greatest songwriters around, and I'm humbled and proud to be part of it. It has been a joy to work alongside Barry and Jenkins to bring Mufasa's story to life, and we can't wait for audiences to explore and experience this film in theaters, which I can't wait for this the same blending live action filmmaking techniques with photo real computer generated imagery Mufasa the Lion King is directed by Barry Jenkins produced by Adele Romanski and Mark Sarek and executive produced by Peter, uh, Peter Tobison now I'm excited for this movie realistically this one is going to be amazing and I'm seeing that the ratio is pretty good on here but we're going to check out the trailer for Mufasa the Lion King right now in three two one It's time I tell you a story. A story of a cub, not much bigger than you. So just to be clear, we're not in this story. There's a lot of stories with all of us. Tell one of those. <laughs> Long before they became legends, Mufasa and the prince who would come to be known as Scar I knew it. became brothers. Hello. What's right. your name? Mufasa. I told you to wait for me. We can't just leave him here. Rules are rules, Tucker. The king will never accept a stray. I'm not a stray. I'm just lost. It's interesting how more expressive the animals look in we this do one. do not associate with outsiders. Taka is the future king. We must protect the bloodline. But dad, I saved his life. Whoa. <laughs> I have a secret, Mufasa. I always wanted a brother. I always wanted a brother. This is going to be interesting. Sometimes I get a sense. Great, great way. 
It's barely a trace on the wind. And it smells like home. And it's gone. You and Tucker together. That is home. Now both of you go. Find your place in the circle of life. This is beautiful! <laughs> the circle is broken. There will be one. Oh, is that Mads Mikkelsen? Mufasa, run! <laughs> this is gonna be awesome! We must fight together! If we fight, we die! Just to be clear, I never signed up for this! <laughs> I'm here to protect you, my brother. Wow, this is going to be awesome. I'm going to love this movie. Oh! We're alive. I did it. Uh, I oh, 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 oh. They need to swim now. You were saying? <laughs> Whoa. You know what? This movie's going to be good. You know what? This movie's gonna be incredible. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready for this. Yeah, th this movie's gonna be incredible. Like any other movie that Disney has done in live action in this manner, I am really excited for the way how this is going to be. And the fact that they're gonna be bringing in themes from the original Lion King, they're gonna be bringing in elements from the Lion Guard, from Lion King one and a half, from Lion King two Simba's Pride, and be telling it in an original story on top of it. This is inc an incredible move into making a sequel, prequel, whatever you want to call it. This is a great move for Disney on their end. And I cannot wait for when this comes out. I am literally excited, absolutely excited. I cannot wait. And this, that was all for the, um, the entertainment panel, but still got a little bit more. You know why? Because the Marvel animation panel happened, um, today. And I'm going to be talking to you guys about what happened at the D23 Marvel animation panel right now. 